We're gonna be doing a world's first on a Mazda BT50. I'm not looking for any crazy power, and that is the biggest gamble about this whole video. What's going on guys? As we can see in the background here, this video is going to be a little bit more different than the ones that are usually on this channel. But for the people who do not know, this is my daily driver. Now it is a Mazda BT50 GT. It's a 2022 model. I bought a brand new from Queensland back in 2023, because uh, there was a six month wait on when COVID was happening. So I ended up getting the car and as it stands now, is how it has been since five days after me owning it. So I had everything in boxes ready to go for when I was back in Sydney and I put everything on and I haven't changed a single thing in the two years of ownership bar the taillights, which is absolutely crazy for me because I'm sure you guys can see on this channel and all my other socials that I cannot help myself and I change stuff very, very quickly. Now getting into the point of this video, the boys are gonna pick this car up and over the weekend, they're gonna be painting a few things for me. Now, I'm sure you guys have all seen the Mazda BT50 SP, and uh, it looks pretty wild. Now, on the silver and the white, I'm not a fan of it because I feel like there's way too much black for my liking on such a light colored car. Now, it looks fine on the black ones, looks fine on the blue, looks fine on the gray, but the silver and white, I'm just not a fan of at all. So I'm gonna be doing that pretty much with a little bit of a twist. So we're gonna be doing a full D chrome on the car. So chrome grille, gone, chrome badges, gone, chrome mirrors, handles, all gone, all black. Uh, I'm going to be getting a SP front bar as well. Not sure whether I'm gonna be doing that straight away or not, but that's gonna be painted silver and that's gonna be sitting in the background because I may have another little video for something else. Make it some maxi liner flares because I do not like the SP flares. They look absolutely trash. They have that big bulge at the top and I cannot stand it. And obviously the SP has the sail plane as well. And we're gonna be doing a world's first on a Mazda BT50 because I've never seen it done before, but we're gonna be paint matching that silver to the car. Now, how will that look? I do not know. And that is the biggest gamble about this whole video. So I'm a bit nervous because I'm obviously gonna be spending money and if it looks shit, I'm gonna be wasting money, but we're gonna send it, we're gonna do it, and uh, at least you guys will get an idea as well if you wanna do this to yours and whatnot. And I may even start a trend, so you never know. But anyways, the boys are gonna come, they're gonna pick it up, they're gonna do that. I'm gonna get a few clips of um, the boys doing some work, hopefully, and uh, I guess we'll see you when the car's back. Well, the boys didn't end up getting any clips for me, and that's all good, but you guys are gonna see it in three, two, one. So here we have it guys, the daily has gotten a nice little makeover. As you can see here, we do have the blacked out badge and the blacked out front grille. It looks absolutely aggressive now, completely different looking. We've got the blacked out mirrors, blacked out handles, color match sailplane at the back to go with it all, and the black badges and handle at the back. Now the sailplane, it does not have the roller shutter on at the minute, so just picture it be sitting Nice and level at the back here, look much better. I just got to find some time to finally put it together. But uh, the sailplane, it was a little bit iffy when I first got it, but it has grown on me in the last few days that I have had the car back. And uh, yeah, we're going to call it a world's first because everybody throws that term around like it's nothing. So what's stopping me from doing the same? I haven't seen it done before. And uh, you know, it does look good. I did get the inspiration from the Z71 Colorado, which is the old D-Max shape, because this is the new D-Max shape BT50. But the Colorado did have the color match sailplane as well. And I kept looking at them and going, hmm, you know, it couldn't look too bad. It's kind of got the same body line-ish sort of thing, being a D-Max. So I'm pretty stoked with it, pretty happy. I do want to go and get the roof rails and I will get them color match black to everything else on the car and i am thinking of rocking the sp front bar with the flares and doing the black flares and whatnot as i stated previously in the video a little bit earlier on that there was too much black going on at the back but now i feel like there might be a little bit too much silver i don't know let me know in the comment section what you guys think should i do the flares um and i'll be agreeing on rocking 
the color match sail plane so let me know in the comment section guys i really want to know but that's a nice little glow up for the daily and i guess while we're here we may as well go over what i have done to it in the past two years i suppose so anyways besides everything that we have done today we've got the kmc wheels they're 17 by 9 I'm not too sure on the offset but they're nice big and chunky they're wrapped in maxis razor at811 tires they've been absolutely awesome i've done about 40,000 k's on this car and they still look fairly new so pretty stoked with that now the lift in this thing it has the Calof road bilstein front coilovers in it and we just have one inch shackles in the back to get it nice and level and looking great then we have the black fat bars stainless snorkel which is nice and loud a little bit annoying but put the window up you can't hear it uh, we've got the fat bars angled sliders as well and we do at the back here have the darkened tail lights now where do i get them from i keep them on the hush still they're not hard to find but if you're going to be lazy and you don't look for them that's up to you moving on into the engine bay we do have the crd alloy intake now the reason for putting these on your car is because when you tow and it sucks shut that is a very very common issue on these cars so if you do have one you do plan on towing i do recommend getting that uh, we've got the pipes as well the intercooler pipes no upgraded intercooler as of yet but you know we'll get to that eventually it is a daily it does what it needs to do uh, I'm not looking for any crazy power because once you do that, you're gonna, you know, start losing some reliability there. Speaking about reliability, we do have a catch can and a pre-filter combo. Now that is a very, very good essential for any sort of diesel car, but I'm gonna go through that on another video. I'm gonna do a video on this car specifically on if I think you should buy one, is it worth it? What are the pros, what are the cons and whatnot, but that'll be at a later date. Other than that, that is pretty much how she is, guys. So I'm gonna leave this video here. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, if it's gonna be too long, too short or whatnot, but I just thought I would introduce the daily, show you what I have done over the last two years and uh, show you this nice little makeover. I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. Uh, I don't wanna go too crazy with this car because honestly, I just bought it so I could hit start, drive me A to B, no dramas get the rigs around and uh, not have any dramas obviously so anyways I'm gonna leave it here thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you guys as always make sure you like comment subscribe put post notifications on so you don't miss out on the next episode and future episodes there will be more content on this BT because it will be getting a little more a few things done to it um, so if you want to see that make sure you join along